Lately, I've been really into astrology and signs and just like energy and just things like that of the world. And it's been constant. Like every night I've been waking this whole week, every night I've been waking up between like three to like five o'clock in the morning. Mind you, I have work at like early in the morning as well. Um, so it'll happen that like I'll wake up randomly and then like I won't be able to sleep. Not fully, you know, so I will still try to close my eyes and try to force myself to go back to sleep. And I might have like a weird dream here and there, but I'm essentially up the rest of the night, you know, and then I go to work. And I'm just tired. I'm groggy all day because I didn't really get no sleep. I'll go to sleep like relatively early, like around 10, 11, and then wake up at that time. So, you know, I'm not really my body's not really getting like much rest. So I was wondering, like, why do I keep waking up around the same time? Like it never fails. Um, so I started doing a little bit like more research into it. And I found a, a video on YouTube that like completely changed my life so i wanted to share what i learned from the video with you guys as well so they say that you wake up around that time because it's literally the quietest in your house or just you know out there in the world as well like have you ever been driving home from like a late night with your friends and it's like really really late like early morning and there's like nobody on the road it's completely silent that's kind of, kind of how it is that's like the universe or if you believe in god that's god trying to tell you like hey wake up like this is the time that we need to talk so this is the perfect opportunity for you to do that so i learned how um you can take advantage of this moment it's two m's right so one meditation and the manifestation so when you they say when you wake up around this time of night what you should do is you shouldn't just try to like fake and go back to sleep and try to force your body to go back to sleep but you should actually like rise up sit down and plant both feet on the ground so if you're sitting on the edge of the bed that's fine just make sure both of your feet are firmly plant placed on the ground and then you actually like sit back as straight as you can then they say you should breathe your palms should be up to god or be able to receive whatever god in the universe is trying to send whatever message the the universe is trying to send to you your hands should be like in receiving mode so you're sitting back your palms are up you breathe And then they say that you should ask for what you want. Whatever you want clarity in, whether it's your love life, your relationships with your friends, your career, your future, whatever it is that you're confused about or you want to get more clarity about, you should ask. This is the very moment to ask. Ask it out loud. Be concise and clear about your question. And this doesn't mean that you're going to hear God like in your ear like, all right, you should blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not how it works. Ask your question or you make your statement. You say whatever you need to say. You put it out there into the universe. And then immediately they say you should grab a journal. I've had this forever now. But grab a journal immediately and start writing things down. So I did this the first time on Friday when I first like learned about this technique. And I tell you, like, I have been writing nonstop. It was just so, I asked the question of what I wanted to know or what I was struggling with the most at the time. And, like, I just started writing. It just it just came out. Like, I just knew what to write. I just knew what to say. So, I can't really describe it. You just have to go through the experience on your own. Um, like I said, literally, like, plant your feet on the ground. Palms up in receiving motion. Breathe. Clear your mind of everything. Don't be thinking about um, what you ate last night for dinner or whatever drama that unfolded throughout the day. Literally clear your mind, breathe, meditate a little bit, and then ask your question. And then immediately grab your notepad, your notebook, your journal, whatever, your diary. Grab it and then just start jotting down everything that comes to your mind. Everything you're thinking, everything you're feeling, just jot it down. And once you're done, you can go back to sleep. Um, and then you can read it in the morning or, you know, whenever you have the chance. You can go over it. You can do this every night. It's a way to really, like, help you figure out your life path. And like I said, it worked for me. I, I was just, like, on a roll, just writing, writing, writing. I turned on my lights and it was just like, da -da 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 -da. and, like, it was, it was therapeutic. I I actually enjoy journaling now. I used to never do this. I used to never want to put my words on a book because I felt like my innermost thoughts are so sacred to me. They're so private to me. If anybody was to read it, like, I would just feel a complete invasion of privacy i just it, it would sit in my heart like i just wouldn't feel right if somebody read my innermost thoughts like without me giving them permission this is my private journal i just it's for me um but i had to get over that i had to get over like you know because i i literally used to always write in journals but then like i don't know i watched many crime shows and i'm like seeing like detectives reading people's diaries and stuff like that i'm just like oh that's so private i mean even though it helps them solve mysteries or whatever or 
not mysteries like crimes or whatever but still for me I'm like uh, I don't like that now I'm like whatever it's more therapeutic for me to just like write things down now instead of just like using my emotions and like speaking as angrily at somebody and and like ruining a, a relationship that didn't need to be ruined with emotions you know um, with emotions that weren't even worked through so now I'm learning like okay like I can just it's okay to just keep things to myself just write things down jot it down and then release it once you do that you've released all the anger all the tension and you just like you can still read it back and forth whenever you want but don't hold on to the same feeling that you had while you were journaling if that makes sense anyways thank you for watching my video if this helped anybody else out go ahead and give this video a thumbs up share my video leave some comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye